what impact will proof of stake, for example, which is kind of the uh, anterior to proof of work, have on this, I, you know, the, the growth and the future of crypto? All right. This is really important. I think we're going to see kind of a bifurcation in the cryptocurrency world between gold, right, and applications, right? And by gold, I mean Bitcoin as a store of value, as a wealth creation tool, uh, which is better than fiat, and internet-based decentralized applications, which are today mostly driven by Ethereum, right? Now, a lot of my, and these are my good friends in, in the Bitcoin world who are maximalists, don't like and don't believe in this decentralized app thing. I don't agree with that. I actually think it's huge, all right? And if you use stable coins today, you're supporting that thesis. Stable coins are simply decentralized apps running on, um, running on Ethereum for the most part and some other blockchains too. And DAI, for example, doesn't even have dollars in a bank. DAI just uses other cryptocurrencies to collateralize the DAI stable coin you're using. So that's a pure decentralized app. All right. So I think what's going to happen is, is that proof of stake has the promise to enable these decentralized applications to scale. I don't think proof of stake right now is a good solution for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not concerned with scalability, at least not in the sense of, of a decentralized app. Bitcoin is concerned with security, safety and soundness. And it probably should be given uh, you know, where it is in, in the mindset of the people that are adopting it. Right? It has certainly evolved and I would say outright changed from the original Satoshi uh, you know, white paper where he talked about P2P uh, and e-money and digital cash. But, you know, there's Litecoin and there's Bitcoin Cash. I use Bitcoin Cash on occasion because I don't care about the value of Bitcoin Cash. If I want to send money to some somebody, sometimes I use Bitcoin Cash because I know they're going to sell it right away. So I don't care if the value goes up or down. It's just a way for us to send money quickly and have a coin that we can use to do it. So not every coin's purpose is to go up in value. Some actually have a a benefit in terms of the kind of transactions or use cases they provide, which are not just about wealth creation. And that's important. I've talked about technology competition in almost every single episode. And it's the technology competition in crypto that's going to move the whole space forward beyond just the store of value of Bitcoin, which obviously is important. It's part of why we're all here. But it's the space is more important than that.